Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have the long-awaited Mega Ulta Haul. I have this big giant box right here. It is so big, I can't even get it in the frame. It is packed full of stuff that I um, spent my 250 bonus $250 worth of bonus points or my points at Ulta which was what 4,000 points and um, I did have put some money with this so I think all together I spent right around a hundred dollars out of pocket plus $250 in points so anyway, if you want to see what is all in this box, and I'll be showing you what I have on my face, and if you've seen the last couple of videos that I've posted this week, um, what was on my face for those videos, then um, just keep on watching. Okay, I have got everything out of that box, and I have it all organized on this little table that's sitting right here by me, so maybe it'll be a little bit easier to show you and hopefully go a little bit faster because um, I do have a lot. So um, I want to start first with the product that I have been just busting at the gut <laughs> to want to show you guys um, because it is so pretty and it's probably my favorite my favorite item out of all the stuff that I purchased and it's this from Wet n Wild and it's a highlighter. It's just but it is so pretty. I have been wearing it every single day since I purchased it. So since I have came back to YouTube, all the videos that I have done, I have had this on as my highlighter. So all the glow that you have been seeing um, has been this. This is what has been lighting up my face and it's the Wet n Wild um, highlighter, highlighting powder in the color Bloom Time is what it is and I, it's new I don't know if it's limited edition or if it's a certain um, collection oh my nose is gonna start itching no 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 but I have just been absolutely loving wearing this highlighter um, it has a flower imprinted on it but it is pretty it's pink it is but I swear when you put it on and you blend it into the cheeks it just creates the prettiest highlight that you have ever, ever seen in your entire life. And it just highlights and just light up. It just lights up the whole entire face. I love it. And I've been using it over my Anastasia, over you know my Chanel, over all of my high-end um, highlighters. I have been reaching for this guy for the last two three weeks four weeks <laughs> quite a bit oh come on nose stop itching so anyway definitely recommend this um yes gotta go get it that was again in bloom time now a highlighter that i was kind of disappointed in actually i was a, a lot disappointed in because it doesn't look like anything that it looked like on the website and this is from wet and wild and it's the i gotta get my little magnifying glass out here midnight moon and it's the highlighting bar and it has the mermaid on it on the packaging there we go well if i can turn it just right you see the little mermaid on the the packaging it's on the app the actual packaging but on the website it looked like it was going to be a whole lot lighter than this but and there is a um, the mermaid tail embossed on here but it looked like it was going to be more of a um, almost like a white color but it's more of a champagne gold color I mean, both my daughter and I was very disappointed in this because she was wanting to get it, but she wanted to see mine first before she got it. And this is definitely um, gold. It is not does not look like um, what it looks like on the um, website at all. This is more like yellow. 
and I haven't even worn it at all because I've been wearing that other one instead. But anyway, so I did get that one. So those were the two highlighters that I got. And then a blush, some blushes. I did pick up some blushes, but the one blush that I have been wearing that I want to tell you about, and I've been wearing it in all of the videos, and I think it pairs very well with the highlighter and it is from Essence. I'm wiping off the swatches. I actually brought some makeup remover wipes. See, I'm trying to be very prepared for this video. I've been planning it and been so excited <laughs> to show you all this stuff, but it's from Essence. It's the Satin Touch Blush. Looks like this here. And it is in the color Satin Coral what I have on. It's what I've had on in all of the videos I've put up for the last couple weeks. And it is just a, oh darn it, I dropped it. Hang on, I retrieved it. <laughs> I didn't move my table all the way to get to it. But anyway, it is just the most beautiful, just an everyday coral looking, beautiful on the skin blush. I mean, the formula is pretty. The color's pretty. It just blends into the skin just so pretty. It, like I said, it pairs very well with the um, highlighter. The best thing is you can get the highlighter and this blush for, what, around $10? And you would be good to go for the whole entire summer with just those two products. I mean, that's what it looks like there, swatched on the hand. But, of course, you can see it on my cheeks. But I love it. I absolutely love it love it. It's the first time that I've tried um, an Essence blush. I wanted to go back and get, you know, more colors, but they only have like one other color and it's like a mauve. I just wasn't really interested in it. But anyway, that's the, the highlight and the blush together. See, perfect. Just absolutely perfect. Love it. Okay, we got to quit talking about that. We got other stuff to do. And, um, then they were doing a sale, um, and I went in store, so not all this was purchased with my points, and I'll let you know what wasn't purchased with my points, and this was something that I actually paid cash for, and they were doing um, a sale on the Physician's Formula, the Butter line, and I've been wanting to try the blushes and the bronzers, but I just got the blush, and I picked up the one that is in the rosy pink. Here's just the package. I've tried to take things out of packages too so it'll be easier. And this is what it looks like. The smell of it, of course, just like everybody says, it does smell really, really good. But I just wasn't that impressed with it. I didn't think it had very good um, color payoff. And I like the Essence a whole lot better. And of course the Essence was a whole lot cheaper even with this being on sale 40% off. But I had taken in a Neutrogena um, sunscreen that had broke me out and I needed to exchange it. So this is what I exchanged it for, one of the things. So, but I don't know. I mean, it's pretty and everything. I just wasn't, and that's a heavy swatch. I mean, I really, really did a heavy swatch of that. I just wasn't that impressed with it. But anyway, but I wanted to try it and see how the formula was. The formula is nice and everything, and I liked that pink color. I was looking for like a bubblegum type pink to wear for the summer, and I think that's pretty, but it's just going to take a little bit of building up to wear that. So that was the only two blushes that I picked up. And then I decided I needed to get some mascara. Um, so I decided I would try and do some drugstore mascara instead of doing like my it cosmetic superhero mascara. So I picked up the L'Oreal Voluminous Black. And because I remember liking this in the past, but I've been using it. And this has really been, when I've been putting it on, it has been really flaking. And I get, you know, pieces of it on my face as I'm putting it on. And you know how hard that is to get those off without them smudging and then messing up your makeup. So I'm just not that impressed with it. I'm going to give it to my daughter. 
because she likes using it on her lower lashes, I think is what she said. So I'm going to pass that on to my daughter because I'm just, I'm just not that impressed with it. So, and then I did get the um, Essence Lash Princess, which is a false lash effect mascara. This one here, which I heard, you know, I watched reviews on it and there was a lot of reviews that had really good reviews on Ulta. So I thought I would pick this one up. And when I first started using it, I didn't like it. But I think it was the eyelash primer that I was using. But I went back to my L'Oreal Voluminous um, Primer. And I like the way it performs better with that primer. But it also will leave little specks on the face if I'm not careful. So I'm going to keep this one and use it. But once it's gone, mm, I don't think I would repurchase it. And I did order during the Sephora sale, the Kush, the Milk Makeup Kush mascara that I really like. So this was kind of a want want for me on the mascara end. And then I had purchased some Clinique products and because I did that, they were doing some gift with purchases. I had to do two different purchases. So I have two of the little minis of the Clinique I think it's the high impact mascara. These are okay. I will use these, so I'll put those in my mascara collection. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to a Clinique product. And this is, I did get to repurchase my Clinique Happy Perfume. I'm so happy <laughs> that I got to repurchase it. I've been out of it for a while because I was on my no buy. Um, if you would have watched my empties, you would have seen I was had one of these in my empties. But, oh, I just love it. It's like my signature scent. Used it for years and years and years, and I don't like being without it. So I did repurchase it. That is probably, that is one of the items that um, I paid for. So that was $65. And I probably shouldn't have sprayed that because now I have it in my mouth. But I'm going to get a drink. And by the way, this is a, um, a flavored water, and it's root beer flavored. So I kind of get my, my um, soda fix a little bit without actually drinking pop because I can't stand the taste of pop anymore. They had these on sale when I placed my order, my original orders. It's the Baby Foot Exfoliation Foot Peel. So I'm going to be using this probably this weekend. And this one says it's lavender scented. But anyway, this is just one of those footies that you put on your feet. You leave it on for about 45 minutes and then wash it off. And then within a couple of days, your feet start to peel off. And then you have really, really smooth feet. So I wanted to do this going into... Um, flip-flop season which I've already been wearing my flip-flops for a couple weeks now maybe even a month <laughs> so put my trash in there I'm hoping to get all this put away after I get this video done and then the foundation that I purchased was this one here from Clinique and it's the even better glow light reflecting makeup with SPF of 15 it is the foundation that I'm wearing and I got it in the color um, alabaster which is a cool neutral color and like I said I have that on and wanted to give it a try let me show you what it looks like as far as the bottle goes it's right here this was 29 oh and I forgot to tell you too at the beginning I also had a 20% off coupon that's what prompted me to go ahead and use my points because I was waiting 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 one to get off my no buy and two to have a 20% off coupon so I can make my points go even further yes so I had a 20% off coupon um, this is one fluid ounce so 30 mil and this runs $29 which is pretty decent for being you know a higher end um, foundation but I really like a glowy foundation and so far I really like the finish of this I actually ordered two colors I ordered ivory and I ordered alabaster but the ivory was just too dark for me so it's going back 
and I ordered this on a separate order, so I didn't use my points on it. Um, but anyway, so, but I do like that. I like this one. I like the coverage of it. It's a very light coverage, but you could probably build it up if you wanted to, but I like the fact that it's a lighter coverage. And then the other foundation that I ordered is from a drug, the drugstore side, and it's from Flower Beauty, and it's the Light Illusion, and it has a SPF of 18, and the color that I ordered in this one is Ivory L2, which it is a just a tad, tad bit dark, a little bit dark, but I ordered some other products that I can put into this to mix with it to make it lighter. And um, I like the coverage of this one. It's a little bit more coverage than the Clinique, and, but it does have a really nice luminous um, finish to it. I'll give it a swatch since I don't have it on. That's the swatch of it, so but I like it too. And it's around $14, $14 at Ulta. You could probably get it cheaper at Walmart, but not all Walmarts carry um, the flower line. So if you don't see it at your local Walmart, you can order it online or you can try another Walmart or you can get it at Ulta. And then um, what I ordered, because I do have some other foundations that I have that are older that I was trying to use up that are too dark for me. So I ordered some um, mixing products to help lighten those. One was from NYX and it's the Pro Foundation Mixer in the color white. This one right here. And then from LA Girl, the Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. And because I didn't know really which one to get and after getting both of them I like the LA girl the pure pigment better it mixes better and you don't have to use as much to lighten um, the foundation so but I did get one of each just to try it and um, just kind of pumps out plus the um, the one from NYX, it just is really, really um, messy. And it's like a squeeze tube, whereas this one is a pump. So, and I'm pretty sure this one, the LA Girl, is cheaper too. So, but if you're needing a mixing medium of some sort, I would go with the LA Girl, they also have different colors, so if you don't need something to make it lighter, if you need something to make it darker, they have a bronze one, they have a blue one, there's a red one, so there's different ones that you could do for different undertones, but they both do the same thing. I just like, I just like the, um, the LA Girl one better. It's a little bit thicker, and I just like the way that it performs better so I actually have um, two of these but I'm going to give one of them to my daughter because she she is so fair that she has a really hard time getting foundations light enough for her so I'm going to give her one of those NYX tubes so that maybe that will help her out and then um, to go along with some foundations I did get um, some setting sprays one from Catrice um, this is a different setting spray than what I normally use. I ordered the wrong one, but that's okay. This is the Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray for illumination, which is fine. I like to be dewy, so. And normally I don't like these sprays, but this one seems to spray okay, so. And it smells, it doesn't have a bad smell to it. What does that say right there? Oh, shake before use. I didn't shake it. Mm. So this is what happens when you can't see anything. My husband and I are both are going tomorrow evening to a new eye doctor to have our eyes checked because neither one of us can see out of our glasses. And my granddaughter, yes, no, not yesterday, but a couple weeks ago, headbutted me and broke broke my 
prescription glasses I wear all the time. <laughs> so I've been kind of struggling. And then from Ofra, I got the Makeup Fixer Setting Spray, but this one was a limited edition one in that it um, is rose scented. You know me and roses. So I got this one because I am like down, I have like maybe this much left of setting spray and then I was completely out of setting sprays. No backups or anything. But I really like the Ofra setting spray. I think it works very well. So we're gonna go ahead and spray some of this one too. Doesn't smell as rosy as I wished it did, but anyway, so I did get one of those. And then another um, face spray is I did get the new Mario Badesco facial spray with aloe, sage, and orange blossom. I was just curious about this, just the new scent that he had out. And um, I definitely smell the orange blossom with a hint the hint of sage but it smells good i really like that so i think i'm going to put this in my bathroom to use as my um after i get done cleaning my face and everything i like to have a toner in there to spray on my face to just kind of help get that moisturization back into my face so i think i'm gonna put that in my bathroom Okay, oh, and to go along with um, foundation, I got a beauty sponge. These were on sale. Um, this is the Echo Tools Total Perfecting Blender. I haven't tried this brand before as far as a uh, beauty sponge. And I think, oh, what is her name? Sabrina. She uses this one, so I thought I would give it a try. Anyway, okay, so... Um, Let's do brows next. I went on a little bit of a brow splurge, I guess, because I wanted to try some new brow products because I was almost out of the brow product that I'm using now. So I thought I would try something new from the drugstore instead of um, the Benefit one that I'm using. Anyway, um, the first one is this one here from e.l.f. It's the lock and liner and brow cream in the color light brown which I think this one was only available online and it's in a tube a little pot like this it's just like a pomade or a cream I don't like it as a um, brow product one thing it's a little bit too dark for me and it's just too creamy to, for the eye for the brows and it just goes everywhere it's hard to work with it's just not stiff enough to work with on the brows i don't like it um the, like i said the color is just too dark it looks like it would be you know too light but i don't like it at all i don't know let me swatch it there it is swatched so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I mean, I guess you could use it for eyeliner. It says you can. So there could be an option. I could try it that way. And then the other one that I got, and this is Maybelline, the Tattoo Studio 24-hour. Um, and this one is in the color Soft Brown. And this is the one that I have used on my brows, and I like this one better. It looks like that one. It's a little bit stiffer, and it's easier to work with. And I got, like, way too much there. But you can see it on my brows. And I just thought it was a little bit of a better color match. And it was, like I said, it was just easier to work with, too. And it just didn't, like, smudge everywhere and go everywhere and it came with a little brush and spoolie i haven't used it and i don't know what i did with it either is it still in there oh it's still in here <laughs> yeah it comes with with that little guy right there which i haven't used and then from elf again i got the gel and powder eyebrow kit which here's the box and Sabrina had talked about this, and it's in the color light. 
and it looks like this here and this is the the pomade stuff which I won't use that like the the waxy stuff yeah I won't use that but I do like the powder and it looks too light in there but when you go to put it through your brows I don't know for whatever reason it kind of really darkens up when you put it through your brows on and even the swatch here looks darker than what it does let me get my hand turned right than what it does in the pan see okay Janie there we go <laughs> everything's backwards on my monitor it's hard for me to do anyway and it makes a really pretty um, crease shade also <laughs> so double duty anyway so I got that oops I don't go in the box and then I got some um, elf eyebrow pencils to try mm, not that impressed with them <laughs> this one is in the color um, oh darn it soft brown I think is what it was called and I don't know I don't like it it's like it's too waxy or something I don't know and the other one is in taupe and I haven't opened it and tried to do anything with it there's the soft brown let's go ahead and open taupe Ooh, this is going to be a long video, guys, because we haven't even got to the, the eyeshadows and the lips. It's just going to be next. This is taupe. That's probably going to be a better color for me anyway. Anyway, this was the soft brown, and then this one was the taupe. So, anyway, that was what I got for eyebrows. And then from NARS, I got a um, eyeshadow primer. I heard um, Jessica Brom talk about this a lot, and I've been wanting to try it. Oh, I have my little granddaughter with me today. She's coming in. And this is the smudge proof eyeshadow base. So I got that. I like it so far. What baby? It's an alligator. Alligator. Yeah, alligator on there. See? You see Gigi on there? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Can you tell everybody hi? Hi. Can you look up there? See up there and say hi. Hi. Can you tell them what your name is? Allison. Allison. Yep, that's your name. It's Allison. <laughs> tell them how old you are. Can you say you're three? I'm three. Three. Yeah. Can you go watch your show until Gigi gets done? Filming? Yeah. Yeah? And play with your house? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Tell them bye. Bye. See you later. See you later. Okay. No. Okay, and since I bought all of the e.l.f. products, I did get a free gift from e.l.f. And this is the Gotta Glow Lip Tint in Perfect Berry. Let me get this out and swatch. If I can get this open. Oh, there we go. It looks pretty intimidating in the tube. I mean, it looks dark. What? Paw prints. Well, go look for some paw prints. I bet you there's some in the living room. No. You don't think so? I thought I seen some in the living room that the Paw Patrol guys left. 
chase left and rubble. That's what it looks like. So it's not too bad. So just a real pretty berry color. Oh, you found a box. Thank you. So the other lipstick, I got a lip liner from Essence. And this one is in the color. Oh, she's got my magnifying glass. Thank you. In the color Lost in Love. I've seen someone else talk about this color. Oh, Alice messed with my tripod and we all went helter skelter there for a minute. Anyway, I got a little eyeliner, or not eyeliner, lip liner from Essence in Lost in Love. And this is what it looks like. It's a real pretty mauve. Look, that um, lip balm from e.l.f. stained my hand right there. What are you doing back there? And I got it to go with this um, lipstick from Essence. It's the Color Boost. Matt, what does it say? Oh. Mad About Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color I Love You. I Love You, Me Neither. <laughs> it's an odd <laughs> name. But anyway, it is a doe foot applicator. And this is the color here. Now these actually stay on pretty good. And that's what that combo Mama, looks like I right there. My room. What? Mama, play my room. Why don't you go out in the living room and watch your show? No. Play at your house. No, I shut the door. I know you shut the door. And then the other one that I got is this one here because I got this one first and I liked the formula and I liked the way that it stayed and the way it felt. They're very comfortable. So I ordered another one, and this one is in the color Seeing Red, and this is what it looks like. Anyway, anyway. Now, it is more of a melon color instead of a true red, especially when, once it dries down. It's more of a melon. Okay. So, and it actually reminded me of this color from Ofra, that of their um, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the color um, Rendezvous, is that what that was called? Yeah. It kind of reminded me of that color. So if you didn't want to spend, you know, the money that this is, which I think they're like too big. maybe twenty nine, okay, then maybe you could get the essence. Those are pretty similar in color and tone, and I felt like they wore about the same. So that was a pretty good sign. And then I did order from Elf a liquid lipstick. And this one is in the color. Hmm? We're opening my door. Red Vixen. And that is this one here. Oh, open my door. Okay, let me fin let me swatch this and show them this one, and then I'll open the door, okay? Yeah. And then there's what that one looks like, which is definitely a red, <laughs> which I like. I like that one. So. Alrighty, let me get these off my hand, and then I have some more lipsticks to show you, and then we're going to get into the eyeshadows. Okay, and then the last of the lipsticks that I ordered was this little Ofra kit, and this is the Long Lasting Liqu Liquid Lipsticks. And I guess maybe this is the old packaging, because I thought I was getting something like this, which it says it's the same thing because they both say long lasting. Anyway, and the colors look different <laughs> in person than what they do online, so. But they were on sale, and then I got the additional 20% off, but anyway, it was a set. 
the color I have on is this one right here, which is the color Coco's Island. And then there is Aruba, which this one's Aruba. do some really fast swatches and then the last one that I have is Rio so, yeah there we go I don't see me wearing this one unless I pair it with maybe a, a red lip liner possibly but anyway there's what they look like see see that looks kind of orange orangey looking doesn't it so I don't that's why I said when I got that in the box I was like ooh it's gonna be too orange for what I like so but anyway there they are so that was the lipsticks that I ordered all right so now we're getting down to the eyeshadows <laughs> So anyway, um, from Essence, they had these on sale during the week that I placed my order. Um, so I did order two of the Essence eyeshadow palettes. Um, one is called Beautiful Eyeshadow Palette, and the other one is called Follow Your Eyeshadow Palette. Follow Your Eyeshadow Palette, Beautiful Eyeshadow Palette. Um, Here's what they look like, and I have worn these in the last two videos that I've done, is the eyeshadows that I've had on, and here's the other ones. If you want an eyeshadow palette that's inexpensive, that would create a very um, subtle eyeshadow look, that doesn't have a whole lot of color payout, then I would go with these. They're beautiful in the pan. Um, I, I was not able to create a eye look with just one palette. I would have to pair both of these together to do any eye look, but they're okay. They weren't my favorite. If I could go back and do it again, I wouldn't have ordered these, but they're still pretty to look at, and I tried and tried to make these work, but I was just like, mm, I just didn't really like how they went on and how they performed. But it took a lot of work to get the looks that I have created with them to really kind of show up. So I was really kind of disappointed in them. But, um,. So if I had it to do over again, I wouldn't have bought them, even though I think when they were on sale, they were like $9 each, $9 and some change each. Um, so, but anyway, so these to me were kind of like the duds of my order. So I, I, I will keep them and use them maybe for like maybe the shimmer shades or something, but Especially when I have, you know, like Natasha Denona in my collection and thinking, well, why, why use those when I have other stuff that is a lot better? But anyway, I did. I got them. They were on sale. I wanted to try them. So, mm. another product that I got, oh, and I just threw it on the ground. that was on sale that I was kind of disappointed in was um, from Laura Geller and it's just this little trio eyeshadow palette um, this iconic New York collection which looks like this here kind of disappointed in this one too on how it performed um, it's just just don't get any payout. I mean, I'm like really, really, really trying to get this color here to come to even swatch. And that's how it does on your eye. I mean, you really, really have to work to get anything on there. 
I mean, the other two colors are okay, but which is so sad because I really thought it would work out really well because I had found a eyeshadow palette from her at TJ Maxx for $8. This one right here, which is the Montauk Escape. That is perfect. And so I thought, well, you know, which was my first Laura Geller eyeshadow palette. So that's why I thought, well, I'll get this one too. But it didn't work out too well. So if you see that on the website, I would pass on that one. But anyway, that's okay. I can give it to my little granddaughter to play with. Not the one that you just seen, but my older granddaughter that's nine. But, oh, okay. That's fine. Alrighty, now to what I have on my eyes, which is from Morphe. I did get the 9C um, Jewel Crew eyeshadow palette. But, oh, it's all icky looking for my hands. But that is this little guy right here. Just beautiful, created such a pretty look. Um, I have chocolate diamond right here in the crease. Then I have hidden gem in the outer V to darken up. And then I have purple, purple rain right here in the inner corner, the inner part, inner half of the eyelid. And it's just turned out so pretty. And then even these other colors are just really, really pretty. I haven't had any problems with them, you know, not blending with the, any of the pigment. But I'm not blending the color payout. It's just been really, really pretty been enjoying playing with all of the colors here lately. It's going to be another swatch of this, this color right here. That's that one. Swatch it right there. See, just really, really pretty. But that's, that's pretty much what I used on my eyes today to create the eye look that I have on. And then the last eyeshadow palette I got was when they were doing another sale and this one was on sale for $15. 15, I think so. And it's the Morphe 35O Natural Glow eyeshadow palette, which had been on my wish list for quite some time. And this is what it looks like. The only thing I don't like about these is they put the names on this little film thingy right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it down onto the lid here so I don't lose it. But there it is. And it just has some really pretty, just warm colors here. And then I wanted it mainly for like these colors right in here and for $15 I mean you can't go wrong for $15 there's some swatches of those it's just really pretty and they blend there's good color payout and I like them all there's not been too many Morphe palettes that I haven't liked other than the Jaclyn Hill, the Vault collection. And I, I don't understand why those had to be so bad when, when Morphe can put out really good um, eyeshadow palettes. So I don't know what happened there. I'm going to give you some more swatches because these are just really, really pretty. I mean, it's just a basic palette, but it's really pretty. 
And like I said, it was on my list and I was actually going to order it with my 20% off coupon. And I decided, no, I'm just, I'm not going to get it. I'll just wait. I don't need it. And so I took it out of my car. I'll just leave it my loves list. And then the following week it was on their sale promotion for $15. So I got a better deal that way. So anyway, whew, that is it. That was a lot. That was a lot. So that is what I spent all of my points on. Oh, and my daughter got some stuff too, but she um she already has her stuff. So but anyway, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.